Short side. And Milania finally with a bit of room to move. Cutting back on the inside. They don't bring it down. Milania, a detail with the ball. Lays it back. Advantage. Advantage is being played. Can they get it right to the speeches? There's Buda with the fan. Now G is over. With some force caught, a number short defense, found space on the edge, just watching her swerve. She, what she does nicely here is the way she falls, tries to get that ball back. The draw had an advantage, so they knew that they could force their arm, get it out wide, stay patient, and just watch Buna just come and swerve with the left. Fend, big swan dive to finish off. Crowd on their feet, outstanding stuff from the drawer. Ready to watch, Caleb. Milania. <laughs> the force looking to hit back and putting it through the hands, bringing Nana up from full back and then a cracking tackle. But oh, it's just, it was a bit high according to the referee, so advantage is being played for the force. around nicely it's over you're always going to be penalized so just be able to tighten that inside hip up connection with the hooker will make things better for them oh and then oh and then play on it is and it is a try to the western force and it's still a kick the Marke. well she played to the whistle don't kill the ball and really good understanding of what was going on there from Maake. She chases the kick. Those little one percenters that sometimes don't pay off. But this one has played right through. And it's just a gift. Five points for the Western Force. Off the back of just some effort and chasing the kick nice and hard. Pick and go. Desperate defence required by the Western Force. Who wants Use it? it. Hands up, hands up. And Akora Barton's going to back this up. And over she goes. It is a try. A try to the Fijian Brewer right on the stroke of half time. The crowd, wow, they love it. And when you give the Dura territory and when you give them possession, they're going to score points. And an interesting first half for Anna Koravata, the prop, spent 10 in the bed, and now she's got five on the scoreboard, two big and strong from that distance. You can see she looked up, she was always going to have a crack, wasn't she? Yeah, she had a look at her mate on the side. And Vossa, they continue to work to the short side. Olumu got the ball away to Buna! The flying Buna! Buna the bullet! Goodness, she has got jet shoes. Yeah, she's in again. She scored in the first half. I said it won't be the last one she's got, and then she's got five in the last three games. Get the ball into her hands, and I think the draw will do really well this game. The Rebels last week down the short side. The offload was uh, brilliant from Rayluma. Why wouldn't you get the ball? They're going to put it through the hands. Buna. Straight through. Let the crowd tell the story yet again. Bullet Buna. And the draw go to another grand final. We previewed her before the game. We knew Empedrua wanted to win this game. Get the ball into her hands. And what does she do? She scores three tries. A hat-trick. Thank you. Maybe one of the first hat-tricks for the Fiji Draw women's team. And what better game to do it than in the semi-final here in Suva. And a start for it. Well, she'd love to do it at volleyball on Sunday week, April 28, and the final as well. One of the great sights in Super Rugby Women in 2024. Up the latte, Buna. Buna the bullet, they call her. The Fiji and Draw women. Kanita. It's over. And it is full time.
The party won't go forever because there's still the men's game to come, the Drua and the Hurricanes, but for now, it is a joyous crowd.